The crew has been going through a second closed beta on PC this past week, and I've been messing around with it for the last few days. Considering that it's been hyped around being this huge big open world for you to drive around in, there's actually a surprising amount of plot to the game. Admittedly, it's all pretty hammy, it's about a guy who gets framed for his brother's murder, teams up with the FBI, goes undercover and so on. I'll stop there, but basically it sounds like a Fast and the Furious film. So you start off in and around Detroit, you do a few races, takedown missions and stuff like that, but the plot is going to start gradually pulling you out into visiting different cities all over the United States. Of course, you can actually just drive off and do what you want whenever you feel like it. And there's actually a really robust fast travel system that lets you teleport to any mission in the world that you've been in the vicinity of. That does mean that you can't just teleport into downtown LA right away. But there is a fast travel system between tra train stations and airports, so you can hit the major locations without driving for 60 minutes. But then again, what would be the fun in that? So I've plugged in my racing wheel and I've floored it all the way from New York International Airport over to San Francisco, with a little detour through Las Vegas before I drive down the coast to Santa Monica Pier in Los Angeles. Now bear in mind that this is pre-release beta code and my run was, was interrupted by the game crashing. Um, there are also a couple of odd moments where other races appeared out of nowhere and stuff like that. It's also only indicative of high graphic settings on the PC um, and with the PS4 and Xbox One beta set for the end of September, that is when we'll have a better picture of how the game is going to look on consoles. But without much further ado, um, and while I try and get myself back onto the road, let's hit that fast forward button. Your car is a wreck. Come back to HQ for repairs. Okay. Um, looks fine to me, though. Now, I've literally got no idea what that Joker is trying to do, crossing the road in that way. There was a different example just a second ago, but um, this is one of the like on-the-fly challenges which you will come across as you're driving around. Uh, these are actually in set locations, but for example you have stuff like this which is the long jump, and it helps to break up the flow as you're just driving around by just giving you these little impromptu challenges and perks. Unfortunately that was the point at which the game crashed, so I've rebooted and carried on exactly from where I left off. One of the big things with recreating the entirety of the US is that you've got different environments. And as you can just see, that was really quite a sharp shift to the wintry climbs as you go into the mountains.
admittedly I was kind of distracted by those balloons over to the right there. But keep an eye out now for how the car heals itself after you've had a big crash. Another case of me getting distracted by the scenery there, but I was quite glad to be driving through Las Vegas and see what they've done with the lights of the city, especially doing so at dusk where it's quite dark. At that point I'd found myself to the train station for San Francisco, but it's very much on the outskirts, so I uh, reset myself and I carried on to go to the beach. Uh, all of that before then um, deciding to head all the way down the coast to visit Los Angeles and Santa Monica Pier. And this is a perfect example of why you should always keep your eyes on the roads, kids. Yeah, that was stupid. And so, without even a hint of style, uh, we arrive at Santa Monica Pier in Los Angeles. Hope you've enjoyed our little hyperspeed road trip, and we will see you next time.